Oh, Blaine Gray here, Plastering for Beginners, and today we're talking all about spray plastering. Last week I showed you part one, this is where we applied the first coat, and we went through the procedure and how to mix it, the prep work that needs to be done, and we went through the full process and how to do the first stages of our plastering using the spray plastering machine. Today we're talking all about the finish. We're going to go through how to apply the second coat, the way you go around doing it, how you flatten it, and the process you get to that nice smooth finish wall. I also talk about the finish, how it looks, and uh, we go up close and give you a close up view on the results you can be getting from this spray plastering system. So make sure if you haven't done so also already to catch up on video one because it was a proper good breakdown on how to start spray plastering. Today we're going to go in deep on how to finish it. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments. Let me know if you've done it before, if this is something you're interested in doing. By the way, if you are interested, there is a link below this video for more uh, information on the courses at Knauf where I went to to do this. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Right, Chris, this is a wall that's been previously coated, so it's already had one or two coats, so this would be drying the same as it would do as if it was a first coat. So now we're just going to whack the finish on. Yeah. And this is where the, this is where it gets golden, isn't it? Yeah. You love this bit, don't you? I love this bit. So this is your second tip now. So if you're working, oh. it's nothing really too dramatic. <laughs> if you're working as a pair, I would always recommend for you guys to be about five foot away from each other. Yeah. So you'd be spraying ahead of me, and I'm about five foot behind, spatting off. And that is the sort of the correct pace and the amount of time or delay in between each other. If, for example, you try to lay the whole room on, yeah. it might start to go off too quick. So right. if you're on your own, about three square meters on your own, yeah. and then span it and go again, it's still really quick. Um, so it will pull in faster, this now. It pulls in quite quick, yeah, but it feels nice. You'll like the feel of it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll like the feel of it. So I'll do a little bit to show you. Yeah. The same speed, it's the same overlap and everything. Yeah, cool. Obviously yeah, yeah. Clear, yeah. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the spat. Yeah. Sealing again. Go into the corner. And it's that. I'm not working this. I'm not mucking around too much. No. Fair bit of pressure. And you can hear where I'm going out to the Yeah, toilet. yeah. And it is literally virtually going to nothing. And I can go to nothing. Yeah. I'm not worried about the corner, I'm nah. not worried about anything else, I'm not worried about that at all. No. Nope. You can come back and switch that corner in a minute, there's no problem. You yeah. Uh -huh. The point when I do it is I've always got your trail on the second coat, it's clean, there's nothing on the edge. Yeah. Slightly moist to start with, we don't add any moisture to the wall. No. It's not like plastering, we've got to get out of that mentality, haven't we? Right. <laughs> So again, quite a quick process. I'm not spending too long trying to move it around. We're not doing that. Yeah. If I've got anything on the blade again, I'm steaming up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not through speed, trust me, it's not through. He's, he's rapid. <laughs> so that's it. I'm just gonna move along, just gonna level it and go, level it and go. Just one trowel? Yeah, don't need to go too mad, not at all. But I want you to get a feel for it on yeah, the Yeah, 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 yeah. And you'll see the difference in how well this pulls in in a minute in terms of speed. Yeah. So now we're working in smaller areas, are we? Yeah, I wouldn't go too I wouldn't go too far ahead of each other if you're working as a pair, to be honest. Yeah. Um, if you're on your own, again, that three square metres is probably about right. Yeah. If you put more volume and material on, that's not a problem. It's staying wet on the wall for longer. It'll go you further. Need yeah, yeah, yeah. You're looking for one to two mil finish on this. Yeah. So that you can see on the edge. Yeah. How? Yeah. So let me just do that again. Let's clean the trowel. 
So this should be an interesting thing. So we've got a clean trail. Yep. Nothing, right, so yeah, we're, we're, yeah. That's the edge, so it's, it's, it's going already. It's really It's taking off. Yeah. So for you, it'd be getting a feel for that part now. Yeah. That feels that feel really nice to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, your go. Take two. Take two. Two hundred of me. Yeah, that's it. Go. Go for it. That's that. That's that. That's that. Flatten it straight away on the on the second coat. Yeah. Put the lock on. Get this beauty out. You're saying this is the money maker, isn't it? Yeah. Go for that. Always really useful, especially those ones with the adjustable angle, because you can adjust it to suit yourself. Yeah, it is nice with the spot, isn't it? Yeah. And again, it's all down to personal feel, but the flexible, the more flexible the tool, the better your finish you get with these products. Typically a stainless blade is much, much better than a plastic blade with this product. Yeah, because it's thin. Exactly. So you've gone to nothing That's there. Nice. Looks good. There's one little ripple there. But well, we're going to show in a minute out of Chris. It's easy to... You, you were saying to me before, don't be pedantic about the little ripples because you're going to sand it out. Yeah, anything that sits on the surface, you can, yeah. you can get out. That's not a problem. Um, anything that's an under, then perhaps that's the bit that you would need to make sure you filled in. Yeah. Anything that's an over, you can you can sand. It's part of the sanding system. No problem. And if it's better to have a ripple rather than a dip. Yeah. So that trail line that you might leave, don't panic over it. Don't yeah. spend all day playing with it. Sand it off. Right. We'll show you how quick that is in a minute. I'm gonna get your two flex. Clean it up. Yeah. Really is nice, isn't it? No. The second coat. Pulls in really well, doesn't it? It's packed as well, isn't it? Yeah. It is practical. And the fact that you're giving a customer a completely, you know, plaster wall. Plaster wall, it's flat and matte to the British standards, nice and white. You know. Well, this is the other appeal, isn't it? It's like, it's all, it's like it's mist coat. Yep. Just make sure you've got some really good lighting, task lighting when you're doing this, because that helps you as well. Yeah, Get a really yeah. good finish that way. What would you say is the thing to look out for when you're doing it? Is it your internals? Your yeah, internals? yeah, the internals. Definitely leave them for a little bit longer, twitch it. Don't, again, panic too much if you leave a little mark there. There's corner sanders that you can get on a yeah. pole you just run in. And these are not electric, these are hand ones. And then do the rest of the work. Um, we always recommend the use of the Mercaleros yeah. dustless sander, which we'll show you in a bit, yeah. or any of their um, hand, hand sanders, but perfect for this, really nice. 180 grit, uh, 210 if you're using a sander, a sanding machine, yeah. but again, you can use a tw the twitcher in the corners if you really, really want to, or you can use a sash brush as well, just to yeah. really just take that edge off. Perfect, that's all you need to do. So we've flattened it, yeah. is that it? That's it, you're finished. Second coat done. Second coat's done now. <laughs> so, we've come in, big job. Done a room, sprayed it in about 10 minutes, flattened it in about 10. Oh. That's, that's it. <laughs> and if you really want to be fussy, um, then what you would do is the next day, you know, leave it to dry. It doesn't have to be the next day. It could yeah. be as long as it's in that, in that period of time. Yeah. Um, 12 to 24 hours, I'll be looking at putting my sander over it. And, yeah. and you're not really working the sander very hard, you're just no. taking any eye spots off really, getting it level and true, perfect, and then you're ready to go. Nice. That's it. Should we finish the wall? I want you to finish the wall, yeah. Let's do it, let's nice. So just carrying on where we left off, is that all good? That's all good, yeah, go for it. So you recommend staying with that level, do you reckon? Oh, that high? Yeah, you can do, yeah. Just see how it feels. It's all about a feel for, the, for you for yeah. the minute. It's all about a feel.
lock and do a bit of a bigger section. Go for it, yeah, no, go for it. Because so you got, you'll be fine with that. You'll be yeah. absolutely fine. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Here we go. It is nice, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, the other thing as well, if you don't like what you've done, spray over it again. Yeah. If you, if you need to leave it where it is now on the wall, you can go home and come back tomorrow and spray over it again. It's not going to cause a problem. Not like it's finished plaster where you've got a... No, you're just going over those textural elements that needs to be filled back in again. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, I reckon you get that out in a minute, there's a bit of a mark up there, but you'll get that out. Oh, is it? Where are we? My goggles are steaming off. Is it? Take your goggles off, you know. There and there's a little bit, you might need to just oh, yeah. dub it out a little bit more. It's probably where you've not gone over it consistently with a spray with that 50% overlap side yeah, of things. Yeah, all right, okay, I'm with you. Typically, because of the, the way the jointing is done, uh, and on, especially on this wall here, for example, where the, the, the joints are running vertically. Yeah. You're probably better off going the standard up and down with the trail. So you're, you're blending. So we're following. So actually, you're following that's a, cross yeah. trail. Come up. Yeah. And then we're following the, the joint. You're following the joint, and if there is, it needs to be sort of leveled in any in any way because your, your jointing's not great, or you 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 know it's something that you're getting better at if you like as part of this system yeah. that helps with that certainly does with this type of product that's looking good looking all right yeah, what's it feel like does it feel it's lovely i'm not going to say that because it's you it's really nice to flatten and you can feel the difference between the first and second coat can't you it's, yeah it's, it's it just feels like it's um it's nice to move It is lovely. I think the internals could do a bit of work, I'm not going to lie to you there. You've got time though, you've got plenty of time. The internals are looking horrible. We'll leave it for a bit and we'll run a twitcher. Yeah, but well, that is, that's it. Yeah, that's it. There's a bit there we've missed. Yeah. As you can see the texture compared oh, yeah, to where yeah, you've yeah. it. That's it. So go, go to a dry bit and then come on to the wet bit. Yeah. There you go, and then do it that way, there you go. We'll just do the usual start at the bottom, work your way across again. But no, it's looking good. I like it. Just step back and have a little look at your workmanship. <laughs> so you can see where you've been, where you haven't been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'd be interesting for us in a minute to, to see how quickly it's starting to pull. Right. So it, is that the next thing? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, wicked. We'll, we'll have a look. We'll, we'll do the touch test, um, just so you've got an idea how quick that's pulling in. I mean, you, would, you wouldn't be doing anything else on this now, but it gives you some idea. We've only done that about 10 minutes ago. It's dry. Yeah. It's, you can feel it's, feel it's, it's wet. Damp. It's damp. It's, it's not coming off your fingers. No. That's mad. Yeah, so it's a bit more air flow in here if this was a room. And that starts pulling really quick. I mean, temperature in here is probably about 12 degrees, 10, yeah. 12 degrees. We've got a good airflow with the door open. Yeah. But it's all you need, airflow. Nice. Airflow. No, but yeah, it's oxidation, isn't it? Rather than chemical set. That's oxidation. yeah. All you need is a bit, good bit of airflow. Right, amazing. Perfect. So now we're just going to quickly test the twitcher, aren't we? It's been like ten minutes, you reckon? About ten minutes, yeah. Oh, let's see. It was alright. Yeah, really does. Pushing in. Yeah, so the first coat you probably want to leave it longer than the second coat. You'll probably be going on the twitcher a bit earlier, like 10, 15 minutes. I'll still get mine light. It is. And don't forget a lot of times when we do the corners, we use the uh, the corner sander just to bring things back in so we don't even overwork with the twitcher. Really? Yeah. In terms of speed. You know, it's very quick in terms of the sanding, which, yeah. which we'll show you in a minute. Is the after something like that? Yep. And that's it. I mean, that's it. All done, as well. done. Done. If it's anything from the wings, where? Yeah, if it's anything from the wings, we tend to keep the 
the tip quite close when we're doing it ourselves yeah. rather than the back end of the body too close to the wall. I'll keep it more the other way in yeah. terms of how mine is. And actually, some of mine has bent yeah, quite, I quite the same. on mine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's all I would do. And it is actually, no, it's, actually it's actually quite a rigid switcher as well, isn't it? That is quite rigid, yeah. I, I, the one I, I tend to use a lot more is I've got a, a Rafina one, which is a bit more flexible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even the Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's quite good as well. But again, the flexibility, that's designed, that one there is more designed for your, uh, your gypsum type base yeah. products. So I just pulled a bit out. That's there. it, yeah, that's it, exactly. Uh, that, that might be a bit wet, would you say? I think so, yeah, I think it so. It's actually, I'm just chopping it up everywhere there. Yeah, I'd, <laughs> but then you know, you're too early then. But so this is a good learning curve, also so that is actually a bit wet now. When that floor was done earlier, it was a lot nice. Coming to this side of the wall, we're actually getting a bit harder there. Yeah, I think that but side's had about half hour. This side's about 10, 10 minutes, isn't it? So, so leave that. Yeah. So roughly about 30, 40 minutes. You could probably leave it a lot longer than that, to be you honest. Would. But yeah, no, don't leave it more than an hour and just keep yeah. going back and checking it. So work within that parameter, about yeah. 40 to an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that is too wet. Exactly. Mess up the next guy. <laughs> I would. Yeah. <laughs> So Chris just said something pretty important. We've got, like, what was it then you just said? Yeah, so if you, if you left a bit of a line on, you want it to actually remove now on the second coat, it's been on the wall a little while, it started to pull in. If you went up the wall with your, your, your blade, it's dry, you're probably likely to tear or tear open the product that you've just applied as a second coat. So we don't want to be polishing? No, we can't polish it, so we just flood that trail a bit more, move the line out, and that's it. Don't apply any water to the wall. No. There's no need to do that. Um, and that's it, but don't overwork it, put it on, level it, finish. So literally, spray, flatten, done. Exactly. Sand. Exactly. Sanding's the important Sanding's bit, Sanding's the next bit, yeah. We'll do that after lunch. <laughs> so you can actually hand apply this as well. All oh, right, yeah. It's a bit like Partex, isn't it? <laughs> and that's it, done. <laughs> yeah, that's it, done. See you later, mate. <laughs> So all, all we're going to do now is just spat it off or try it off. Yeah. But again, it's just a means of getting the product to the wall. You don't want to use a horse and trail. You just want to use a roller, for example, and just, and just bring that back in. I think you see, very simple. Right. So you, look, God, that's mad. So it's the same. The product is very versatile then. So in, yeah. in theory then, if we didn't want to get all the uh, windows matted up, we didn't want to sheet everything up, we could just whack the reveals on by hand. Whack the reveals on by hand, yeah. So yeah. spray the room, yep. reveals by hand. You can do that, 100%. And yeah. then that's, that's your speed element yeah. sorted. And if you've got smaller elements, you don't want to get the machine out, you can roll it on. Because yeah, that's the same thing, isn't it? Roll it on. Yeah. Mad, it's a good product, it's very good. So we've got the Mercadier or Sander. We're using the Abronet mesh. Uh, today, the actual mesh we're using is a 180 grit. You can use a 210 depending on how much material you've left on the wall. Yeah. We don't need to put a lot of pressure on. We recommend the use of the Merca Sander. Um, it's probably the best on the market. Really nice and light. Articulated head, easy to use. You can extend it with a bar at the end so you can get really high areas without having to stand in any pop ups. It's great yeah. for safety. Bit of a tip always start the machine on the wall rather than going to the wall. Because okay. If you go to the wall and turn it on, you're probably going to make a little slice out of the wall. Right. Like you can see something. Ah, like right. It's like that. So that's what will happen. Yeah. But you can snag that with the products, no problem. Just put a bit of material back into it. By hand, preferably at that point, wouldn't you? Yeah, just put bung a bit in by hand. And that's tomorrow, it. Tomorrow, be surprised if you can actually see it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so with this, we've got an on-off function. We've got some speed control, so that will get us fast or slower. So if I turn it on, we're full speed now. You don't want to be full speed on this. So I actually run quite slow. Yeah. I run quite slow on this. But let me show you. You can hear that when I start it, the extractor works. The yeah. The extractor comes on. Right. So let's try and find something that looks a bit rough. Let me give you an idea of the pace. I'll start it on the wall and I'll show you how much you really need to be working this. Not really 
you're going to be working it very hard. No dust. Dust is all gone inside. No dust. You know, not much pressure, was it? Not much pressure. Don't put a lot of pressure on it because you can actually take it right back yeah. off if you go too mad. So that's the beauty of that. And you did have the option for anyone yeah. who was, uh, you can do it just do it by hand, can't you? Yeah, so we've got a little bit of a mist there. There's a bit of a, can you see that bump on the camera? Let's have a look. Let's see if we can pick that up. Yes, just about there, isn't it? Okay, yeah. so a little bit of light sanding. That's probably where that's she's gone already. It. Yeah, gone already. So it's not hard to sand if you need to. Really? So you only need to sand where you need to sand. You don't have to go at it. Um, guys who are good with the, the trowel, get rid of all sorts of bits and pieces with the trowel. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm probably marking that more now with that than I am with anything else. So really, so let's go through process. First coat, First second, coat, coat, second coat, one flatten, and if there's any ridges, whip so this out. Whip this out without. Yeah, if you're doing it by hand, 180. If you're doing it with a machine, 180 to 210, depending on how rough you are with your finishing coat. Okay. Simple as that. And that's it. That's job it. done. Job done. Finished job. <laughs> Get paid. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we want it. Amazing. Now let's just look for the camera and see if we can pick it up. It is. So it's got the plaster on. See it, it shining is smooth. a little bit. It is a bit of sparkly. Flat. You can see the marble in it, the marble content. And it's strong stuff. Strong stuff, yeah. So if there is in the range, there is one called Airless Impact, which is great for hospital corridors, schools, yeah. that sort of thing. That will take a lot of impact as well. So that's something to consider, um, depending on what the job it is. We can get a backing coat as well. Um, yeah. Depending on what your use is, really. So contact canal for technical. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what I'm saying is, you're, you've uh, essentially yeah. you found your little places here. Yeah. And you've, if the are areas you're not happy with, you grab some from the uh, tub, of, some, tub of joy. Yeah. <laughs> grab, grab some stuff out the upper. You can add a bit on. Um, you know, the, this was all developed over on the continent. A lot of places, Scandinavian countries, especially those sort of areas, they take responsibility for the whole complete wall build. So. Right. Not like the UK on some big sites where you've got someone just doing boarding, yeah. uh, jointing, plastering. They take responsibility for the whole of the wall. So they're responsible for all of it. So in terms of snagging, you're now then looking at snagging your own work. Tomorrow, where we've snagged a little bit here and there, where this goes to zero, you'll be, you'll be hard pressed to see where you've snagged it. Yeah. Very easy to wipe over if you need to. Um, but really, really forgiving product, if I'm honest. Um, and we'll see what that looks like in 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Yeah, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, it'll try. It's the speed factor in it, how much you can get done in a day. And that, the fact the finish is decent, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't expecting it to look as seamless as that. I thought it was going to be dog rough. <laughs> you done alright, that's good. That's not me. <laughs> You've done alright, you done alright. Thanks a lot, Chris. No problem, Legend. Thank you. thank you. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video from Blast Room for Beginners, press the subscribe button below. And uh, we're going to get more plastering tutorials and we're going to keep you updated with the latest technology and the latest systems for plastering. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.